All right, guys, check it out. Today, I'm going to do a quick lesson on cut-induced spin, CIS. Take an object ball, put it about a half a diamond out of the side pocket, on the rail, just off the rail, doesn't really matter, okay? Doesn't really matter what kind of cue you have. I'm just using an old house cue today. I don't have my J Flowers cue, so old house cue will do. You could do this with a broomstick, doesn't matter. Take the line from the inside of the pocket jaw, right here, straight to your object ball. Put the cue ball somewhere on this line, okay? Let's try to bank this here in one bank. I'll avoid the double kiss. Sometimes you can double kiss it and it'll actually go this direction as well. We're not talking about that. I'm gonna take a soft shot here and you'll see that I'll always end up short when I shoot this soft. Check it out. Okay, well three and a half inches short there, All right? What happens if we do this a little bit harder? I'm not applying any spin to the cue ball, by the way, guys. Let's do it a little bit harder. Ooh, see, we got a little closer. Now, what happens if we actually hit this firm? No spin on the cue ball. Let's hit it firm. We got a double kiss there. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. All right, you see that? That was cut-induced spin. All right, it put a right spin on the object ball, but it works a lot better if you hit it a little bit firm. All right, guys, I know that in this situation, there are other pockets available. This is a lesson. I could put some locker balls up there, but this is a lesson on just how to bank this to the side pocket. So chill out. 